tahniah. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Hello, good evening all. Alright, so today we are coming for the another session of uh, MUAD online tuition. And uh, welcome to Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber. Initially free, forever free. Hi, how are you? Okay, give some comment at the chat box, yeah? All right, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Madam Chia Yiying from College Meticulasi Negeri Milan, the moderator of the day. As uh, everyone knows, schools are closed due to MCO. Yeah, what, you, what do you need to do? You need to follow online class, yeah? As the exam is uh, approaching, you please take this opportunity to join the class, okay? All right, so are you ready? Okay, yes, I uh, I saw uh, 14 <laughs> comments so far. That's very good. So I believe everyone uh, knows that on every Tuesday at 5 o'clock is the MUAD sessions for Form 6 students as well as uh, matriculation students. Um, so please uh, set your reminder, put it in your timetable, right? And if you subscribe uh, the presenter of the day, so usually you will get a notification. So please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you subscribe Cikgu Hana's channel, uh, Madam Wina's channel, Madam Aisha Blue channel, Teacher Yeni, and also I promote myself, Madam Chia's channel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me introduce uh, our teacher of today's lesson. She is uh, Madam Bina and uh, she's from SMK Sultan Idris Shah II, Greek Para. As, as you know, she has so many followers. Why? <laughs> because she is an excellent teacher, Guru Chamala Wang. Okay. Uh, please come and learn and support her. While learning, you'll get the tips and tricks how to score better than. All right? Okay. So remember to click her uh, channel. Make sure from red it turn to what color is that? Gray, right? All right. So today, uh, Put your mind, your soul together and learn about writing and email, right? Okay. So, uh, without further wasting any time, welcome, Madam Dina. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Madam Chia. Okay. And my sisters, uh, Madam Blue, Madam Chia, Kahana, and Teacher Yanni. Okay, all right. So today, uh, today is my slot. Okay, so uh, they are your. My teachers, you know, right? Okay, all right, already. <laughs> Almost one year. <laughs> <laughs> it reduces on writing, which is Kaisha. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, where did I stop? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so, last one is your email writing and a letter writing, isn't it? Very easy. How about you, all of all of you, uh, dear students? Do you like to write email or a letter? 
but i think i don't think they are they are using this uh what is that email and letter now they are just using the telegram message or whatsapp message isn't it <laughs> but you like or not you have to answer this question writing task one okay whether you are using this email or letter writing but you still have to answer okay because you have to score your point isn't it okay all right for this task one okay all right for this task one you have to write uh at least 100 words right email or letter we do not know what is going to get for your session two right session one it was an email huh okay all right so um uh the exam task guide for this email uh, writing okay the first thing is you should know uh, you have to write at least 100 words okay based on the given stimulus and after that you should know you have to read the question and you have to know how to answer the question that's the most important thing lah. okay all right so before this i wish to show this uh, example okay, this is the example huh? session one's example this is the real exam paper of session one uh 2000 uh, uh 2021 okay 2021 and you can see it is an email it is an email huh? an email and maybe who knows for session two letter will be coming up but i, I i'm not sure but you have to focus both huh? so, uh email and also a letter okay all right so to answer this part this task one first of all uh you have to read and understand the stimulus it is very important it is the main thing for all the writings uh, writing a uh, question one or uh, task one or task two okay the same thing uh, for your speaking because you have to read and understand the stimulus stimulus here is the question okay is the question and after that as usual we will do together later uh, this is only uh, the steps uh, tap one, two, and three. I, I, I'm just explaining later. We can do together. Okay. And after reading the question, the stimulus, yeah, you have to identify the keywords. Why you have to identify the keywords? You have to answer. Huh? Uh, you have to answer based on the given stimulus. So that is why you have to identify the keywords. Okay, sometimes you can, uh, once you read the question, you can understand. Some students, they have to read two, three times. So, to overcome that problem, what do you have to do? You have, you just uh, underline the keywords. Huh? All right. After that, det uh, determine whether, uh, uh, what you are required to do. Meaning, what are you going to do for this task? Okay, what are you going to do for this task? And... Uh, you have to understand what the email or letter is about. Okay. All right. For the step two, uh, plan your response. Yeah. Once you understand the task, definitely you will plan your outcome, isn't it? Plan your points, isn't it? Okay. So you will read the question, uh, the the email or the letter writing. Okay? So you have to respond to the question and please use all the notes provided okay uh, the notes given actually the guide for you to write your essay okay so you must use the notes to plan your answer okay you you, you must have the notes okay don't choose there are i think there are four notes so far and please don't choose out of four you okay you like three and you answer only three cannot huh? you have to answer all four notes okay all right and decide the style meaning that uh, you should know whether it is informal or formal okay all right and the last step uh remember the steps and uh, and the lesson of the day eh? because at the end as usual i will ask you a question i will give you a gift that's all very simple okay uh, <laughs> remember you, you will get gifts <laughs> uh, step steps last steps uh clue clue <laughs> Clue. Okay. Uh, okay. So the final step is yeah, write your response, meaning that you are going to write your essay after uh, jot down your all your what is that notes, explanations, 
uh, examples if you have. Huh? Okay, so use the appropriate expressions and linkers. Yeah, finally, uh, the last step is yeah to write the email or a letter. You have to use an appropriate ex expression and also the linkers. Huh? And write your letter or email appropriately. You follow the question. Okay, if the stimulus in in an informal style uh, and it addressed to a friend or family member your reply should be in an informal style okay but then the if the stimulus is in formal style and is addressed to someone you do not know or who is in a position or authority your reply should be in a formal style okay you should know that huh? okay all right so this is the exam task guide and yeah, the first thing here, step one, understand the task, right? So you have to analyze. You have to analyze meaning that you should know who is the letter or email from, who is the letter or email written to, what is the letter or email about, okay? You should know all this. You have to understand first so that you can write, okay? What language is used in the letter or email? Uh, informal or formal once you read you know you can you know identify all right okay that is why you have to understand the task okay uh yes the next uh step is planning your response okay planning your response huh? actually i want to give you the question first before i explain with the what is that the the notes okay everybody has their own uh, style of teaching and here i do not know i just give them this usually uh, i think the other day teacher yani also explained about this where she did this box uh, do you still remember the box okay never mind we can do together eh? okay so let's say just now, this is your real exam paper. This is your real exam paper, the example. But here, I put in this way because this is a PowerPoint. So I put it in this way and I want to uh, highlight the thing. That is why it is uh, this style, you know. But the, everything is there. I will explain to you. Don't worry. Okay. So this is an email. This is an email. Okay. Once you read, you can identify. Okay. So, uh, your classmate Ame was absent last Friday. This is your stimulus. The first thing what you should do, you have to read, isn't it? Okay, read the question. Okay, so you have you, you just underline Ame was absent last Friday. You, you got to underline the keywords in your question as well before underlining in your essay, in your email or a letter uh, because he happened to attend a wedding with his family so he was absent huh? okay so read the email from him uh, talking about the class picnic yes which he missed okay underline all the keywords because you have to link okay it is very easy but you should understand and you got to write isn't it so just underline the keywords okay all right so the first thing here you need to plan your uh ideas isn't it so here your notes are for firstly it is fun okay fun can you see here this is your first note your second note is describe two activities your third note is yes because and the last note is tell Ame. Okay? All right. So these are the important notes. Okay? It's like this. Can you see in your real exam paper notes? One, two, three, four. Uh, you will have four. Okay? Please don't choose the notes. You have to answer all the notes given okay all right so how was the picnic uh, how was the class picnic okay so you have to answer for this isn't it so you have to say it is fun later later we can do together but at the same time what you should do never mind i just 
right, uh, explain the notes first, then we can do together. Okay, how was the class picnic? I felt very unhappy that I could not go for the picnic. I was really looking for, forward to it. Okay, so this is your note uh, that you have to expand later, yet you have to answer and describe two activities okay i heard that there were a lot of fun things planned for the picnic okay what activities attracted you at the picnic ah so here this is your question isn't it your note isn't it uh, your question but the note is uh describe two activities can you see here okay so they already mentioned here two activities so you must give two Okay, you must give two activities here. Okay, please uh, read the notes carefully. It is very important. Okay. If you have, don't give only one activity or don't give three activities. Just follow the notes. Okay, just follow the notes. Describe two activities, just follow the notes. But if, let's say, they just say that uh, describe activities. Let's describe the activities. Okay, activities still plural, isn't it? So you can still can give two activities. Okay, but if there, if you see the number, uh, the number of activities, uh, so you have to follow the number. Okay, all right. So this is for this. Okay, uh, I also heard all of you went for the picnic by our school bus i missed it ah. did you enjoy traveling by a school bus ah that is the question right so here for this you have to answer yes because yes because so for you have to answer this question okay all right and the last note is tell ami tell ami so i heard that our english club is planning a trip to panko island I really want to go on the trip. Would you like to join me? Okay, tell Ami whether you want to join or not. Okay, so this is your, actually, this is your question. This is your question. And this is your notes. Huh? Okay. Using all the notes given, write a reply. All. Please don't choose all. Write a reply. You have to reply of at least 100 words in appropriate style okay so all means use all the notes given for notes write a reply to your friend ami the reply should be an email very important at least 100 words long uh, this is a reply to a friend yeah the style is informal okay friend is informal isn't it all right very simple that is why you have to underline all the keywords it is easy for you for a while only you will underline isn't it okay so expanding the notes given how are you going to expand the notes given very simple first paragraph how was the class picnic your stimulus your question just now uh how was the class picnic question in the stimulus uh, the, you have to know the question in the stimulus. Um, okay. And the note is fun. Isn't it? Fun. So, to explain this, okay. I just want to give or I just want to share my idea only. You can use uh, in your class as well. Huh? Okay. So, this is the first note. Fun. And fun. It is a positive thing, isn't it? You are not sad fun isn't it so definitely you will give a positive response okay All right and to explain fun you have must write this word huh? you must write uh, this sentence okay this word in your first sentence okay indicate that you are on a right track the picnics was fun can you see all right after that you have to explain isn't it okay for me to explain i ask my students to use the wh questions to explain you ex to describe fun 
okay but if you want to straight away you have a uh, if you have points doesn't matter but if you have this it is better because you can describe you can have some points you know 100 words isn't it uh, you can have uh, some points okay so here uh why why i choose the wh question you can choose anyone huh? why how when where whatever that you want to use you can use but the thing is you describe but uh don't write uh too long that's all okay focus on the notes just focus on the notes given and explain you can write but don't elaborate too long okay all right and okay why the picnics was fine Okay, the first celebration, why everyone enjoyed every second of it? How? How? And you, you can ex explain, eh? everyone enjoyed every second of it. Okay, this is because uh, we were cooperating in joining all the activities that had been planned. That is why you feel everyone enjoyed every uh, second of it. And the picnics was fun. Am I right? Okay, this is for your first note. This is for your note, first note, you know. But why I put here key feed, keywords? Keywords means, you can see here, huh? your keywords from the question, from the essay is, I chose this, unhappy that I could not go for the picnic. I was really looking for it. Okay, so I chose this, unhappy and really looking forward to it, isn't it? So I chose these two. This is actually a subject as well because you have to focus or you have to uh, be in, uh, uh, what is that, uh, e the style of email writing, you know. So you, you can answer it, no problem. Okay, so what you can do uh, for this, uh, unhappy, looking forward to it, it was unfortunate that you were not able to join us so you are uh, you are on a right track now okay you also answer the keywords or the 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 phrases that you could see in your first paragraph okay you, you have to answer sometimes that keywords you have to use to explain the notes as well right you cannot simply choose other keywords other person's name uh, you know you cannot choose that you whatever that you see the keywords in that particular paragraph you have to use that okay you have to use that so uh, so now done with our first notes okay any question dear students any question can, can they come to the county and answer questions oh. Oh, they so, can just ask, no problem. They can just uh, write. Oh, um, right, sure. Conti also, no yeah. problem. No problem. Okay, any questions so far before proceeding to my next paragraph? No question, eh? Huh? Okay, all right. So, huh, paragraph two. What activities? The question here is, what activities attracted you at the picnic? Okay, what? So here you have to describe two activities, isn't it? Based on the question, based on the notes, two activities. So describe two activities at the picnic. Okay, so straight straightforward. Um, this is because they already asked you to write the activities. Okay, so this is your, you can see, this is your first activity and this is your second. Uh, as long as uh, two activities. Uh, that attracted you at the picnic okay straight away answer the notes okay then you explain okay all right so here once again i chose these two item for the wh question for fishing i chose these two whatever is this as long as you explain based on the notes given so to explain uh, uh to explain or to give examples, you can use this technique. That's all. It is very simple. Okay, it is very simple uh, technique actually. So here the first activity. I said fake egg. Okay, because you have to explain. You have to describe, isn't it? Uh, the, you have, but you have to mention first. Because why uh, I mentioned this first? Because they also you you look at the keywords here. Uh, in the question, I heard that there were a lot of fun things planned for the picnic. So meaning that uh, you should 
say something about this also a lot of fun things planned so you these keywords you can mention first and you can choose two activities no problem okay as long as you are on the right track uh, so this is the keyword uh, the phrase here is a lot of fun things planned for the picnic right so so this will be your first sentence well we played wheel barrel racing gorilla racing twister just to name a few all went smoothly as we planned this is the first thing that uh, the, a lot of things that you plan for the picnic isn't it you can just reply uh, on it no problem at all then you can come up with the uh, two activities that they are focusing on the question the question huh okay so the question here though i said fake it because it was really funny uh, this is your explanation why you said uh, uh you're saying this first activity why because it was really okay it was really funny as we were using tennis balls in this game it was a race uh, how 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 you can play this game it was a race to finish line without dropping the ball we had a good laugh Okay, this is the way you uh, can explain. But don't write uh, too long, huh? too long. Just simple and nice. But you must uh, describe that activity. Yeah? If not, you can't get that hundred words. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next, uh, because of these two, you have to write or you have to give another activity. Yeah? Okay. Next, fishing is my world. Uh, fishing is the next activity. And what about the elaboration? Okay. Why? Fishing helped me to chill with our friends, relax uh, during that picnic, huh? a talk, and most importantly, what will happen? Build stronger rapport between friends. Okay, very simple, very simple. At least you can, you know, you can uh, expand the notes if you have this. You, you try to spend about a few minutes to do this table during the exam and you no need to uh, expand the notes even because you don't have time you only have 25 minutes so maybe you can do this notes in this way okay you can uh, write in a point form then you can expand the notes uh, you can straight away write your essay if you have time you can uh, write the notes first you can expand the note first then you can write but the thing is you only have 25 minutes right for this part okay all right so any questions so far no question huh? okay uh paragraph three okay i mean uh stimulus uh question three yeah? did you enjoy traveling by a bus uh, okay uh, so the notes given here is yes because so for this you have to answer or your answer should be yes yes you cannot say no because uh, no i don't like to or uh, travel by a bus you cannot say no huh? you have to follow you have to answer the notes given okay yes and give the explanations once again i explain with this okay why and what okay so yes because you must answer it yes i did enjoy you must answer I, because I love traveling on a bus, it's a golden chance for me, right? Ah, and what happened? The moment I was glancing through the windows of my bus, okay, this is the way you explain. Uh, you said you enjoy because if you, if you say that you, I did enjoy here, the answer, you have to explain the moment, isn't it? Uh, so what happened during um, uh, that moment? So this is the example. The moment I was glancing through the windows of my bus and with earphones hanging from my ears, the music had a different meaning of happiness which suited my mind. Okay? All right? Okay, so this will be the point. And the keyword. Yeah, keyword. Don't forget about the keywords, the subject in your question. Missed it. I missed it. He said, I missed it, isn't it, just now? Uh, so, to reply for that uh, keywords or the phrase, uh, no worries. I am definitely sure that you can travel on a bus in our next trip. Uh, just a very simple reply. That's all. It's a normal uh, email reply to your friend. That's it. Okay? All right. Okay. What about our last paragraph? Uh, paragraph four. And the question is, would you like to join me? 
Ah, so here you have to tell Ame and state that you would like to join him in the next trip. Okay, tell Ame they didn't say whether you have to agree or not. Eh? It's up to you. But here uh, I put it put it here um, that he's agree. Eh? Okay, and the WH question here. To, so to okay, it, let's say if you want to state that you would like to join him in the next trip so you must uh, show the positive uh, reply isn't it of course i would okay the question here is would isn't it so you have to use would as well of course i would okay i wish to travel with you this time around uh okay why uh why um, agree because uh, madam Bina? yes okay there is a question from zira zukifli okay. madam Madam, how many marks will I lose if I didn't follow the correct format for this kind of ACs? Okay, correct format means email or letter, isn't it? Yeah. Format. Format, you have to follow exactly. But lose marks, I'm not sure. Actually, Aisha, it's of tangent, right? If, if they write, if they ask email and if they answer it in a letter, of tangent is it? No, I don't think no. so. They they were maybe uh, lesser marks for format. Uh, yeah, it's just for that so of tangent. They can still mm. answer the question. The content is there. Mm. So I don't. I don't think we do. We have marks for format. I don't think. No, no, have, no. Uh, I we don't, don't think have. We, we have. Yeah. Uh, we don't have. Uh, so, so that is why we don't know. We do not know huh, how many marks can be deducted. Is it? Just, just answer the notes. Huh? Just answer the notes given. The notes given. Yes, mm -hmm. that's answer. And if you just follow teacher style, huh, meaning that you can write, mm -hmm. you can write the point, you can elaborate, you will get marks. That's the most important thing. Okay. Yeah. Don't that's worry true. about the format. Yeah. Answer, answer the question. Yes. Yes. There that is why. <clears throat> yeah. There are six parts, you see. Uh, you have paragraph one until paragraph four. You answer mm. all. You answer then you all. have that's your all. salutation and then you have your ending. So you have six parts. You answer think, all those parts. Uh, okay. This email, uh, this email writing, I think is just like the uh, question one, triple one nine. Question yes. one, triple one nine. Yes. Okay, that's the third question, that one. Okay, and you have to answer answer uh the question use the mm. notes given use given. all the notes given. notes given exactly like uh question one triple one nine but we don't have the marks for format so i yeah, don't yeah. think they got to worry about it no don't, don't uh, okay. worry yes yeah? yes uh, okay all right so that is why here i teach you how to expand the notes you know that's the most important thing you write you will get marks that's all that's the most important thing here okay yeah. all right so let's move on to this paragraph four okay so um, we know, yeah. uh, commercial another break. question question yeah? uh, commercial commercial break. Break. Commercial break. I the question like is we, we need to have a commercial break okay <laughs> <laughs> COVID-19 semakin menular. Sekolah-sekolah terpaksa ditutup. Bagaimana dengan nasib pendidikan anak-anak kita? Sebagai ibu bapa, kita pastinya mahukan yang terbaik untuk anak-anak. Tetapi, mengapa bebankan diri dengan kelas tuition yang berbayar sedangkan ada yang percuma? Akademi Youtuber Malaysia Inisiatif dari EDD dan Kelab Guru Malaysia Membawakan anak anda kelas dalam talian secara percuma Secara langsung oleh guru-guru dari seluruh negara Maklumat lanjut, layari www.academyyoutuber.com Okay, Madam Wina, the floor okay. is yours. Continue. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh, 
Okay, very nice talk, ba? Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I think this. Oh, <laughs> paragraph four. Okay, and the first point, ah, uh, why I wish to travel with you this time around. Okay, how you can just say, you know, you you want to explain your ah uh, your point, so you can just say your feelings, ah, uh, why, ah. Uh? It's a very simple sentence. And probably this trip is going to be cherished as the best days for us, ah. Uh? Okay, uh, very simple. And the keywords here, yeah, you should know. That's the question. Uh, I heard that our English club is planning a trip to Kuala Island. I really want to go on the trip. Okay, so here the phrases. Okay, one minute, ah. Uh. English club planning a trip. La Pangkal really want. Okay, these are the what is that? The keywords, ah. Uh. Uh, so as our English club planned, you can join the trip to Pangkal Island. Meaning that you answer, you answer, you reply, ah. Uh, whatever that he asks, you reply to him. Okay. All right. Okay, but the main thing here is uh, the notes. Okay, reply the notes. At the same time, you can uh, you have to follow the keywords that we can see from the uh, given uh, email. Okay. All right. So these are the style. Once you get your question paper, you can do this box. Okay, you can do this box, and you can you know you can uh, elicit all your uh, points. Okay, for the notes given. Okay. All right. So now writing your response, meaning that your full essay, very simple. So as uh, Madam Chia said, you must provide a suitable salutation. Huh? Hi. Okay. And uh, use the correct format, email format. Okay. Once we see this, we know that uh, you are writing the email. Huh? Okay. You are on the right track. Okay. Use the correct format and email. And provide a suitable uh, salutation. Hi, okay, all right. And you can write everything that you had just now. Okay, we explain, isn't it? Whatever that you did in a box just now, the explanation, the examples, whatever uh, you have to just uh, write here as your essay. That's all. Okay, usually the students straight away they will write this essay, you know, they will come up with this essay. But before that, uh, you just uh, spend a few minutes and do this box first. Okay, do this box first. You, I, uh, I think you can just write the stimulus and notes given. Note expansion, I think you can straight away write your essay, but without grammar mistakes. Okay, all right, so that you can come up with this wonderful essay. All right. So these are the essay, yeah? uh, your 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 reply to your friend. You can see here, you 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 have the respond to the keywords you have underlined earlier, and you also insert your all your notes expanded just now. Just right here. Okay. Okay. These are the things, huh? Okay. And add a suitable conclusion here. Bye for now. We'll be in touch soon. Okay. And the last one, don't forget to sign off. Ate. Ah. Okay. Easy, isn't it? Very simple. Any questions so far? Madam Bina, can you highlight point one? Uh, the six element, put that aside. Element one, element two, three, they four, the five, six. Yeah. Let them uh, have that. That will you be a complete email. You, you put aside there, let them be alert a bit. Uh, the six element uh, uh, supposed to have. Thing. Do you uh -huh. want me to show the notes as well? No, uh, no, 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 no. Just put there the six element of an uh, email. You put there, you highlight to them one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a complete email. Let That's them see. the thing I showed here. <laughs> this, uh, this is the first that I already showed here. One, two, one. Yeah, put their number. Here. Put their number. One, two, that, three, four, five, nicely. six. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, nice yeah, nicely. yeah, yeah. Put that. Put that. So that it will be very clear for ah, them. Ah, I yes. Did. Actually, I already yeah. given, but it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You put that aside there. Third, mm -hmm. what do you want? Okay, third, so far, for me, actually, this is the first thing from and the subject. 
and yeah. secondly your sedation hi mm -hmm. am i right mm -hmm. and after yeah. that you will write uh, you will expand the notes this is your yeah. whole essay and mm -hmm. um, i think this is the thing by for now will be in touch is your stable conclusion. The last one, the sixth. Yes. Element of the sixth. Yeah. And the last one is your sign off. That's all. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very simple. And you have your four notes in between. Okay. Because I already given you here. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any other question okay. before moving into our letter writing it is very simple i think i can finish it mm -hmm. i want to have about 30, 30 minutes <laughs> okay effective yeah. expression there are a few these are the expressions that you have to use for your essay so there are a few okay you can see to greet the recipient okay i think you can just have a look you can look at my uh what is that uh, video once again i just because you only have 20 minutes right okay to begin a letter or an email okay to express thanks you have to use all this in your email that's the email isn't it okay to express an apology to express a reaction to good news Okay, to express a reaction to bad news. Okay, you have to use all these phrases, huh? Okay, to express uh, preferences. Uh, okay, agreement. To express disagreement. To express like. To express dislike. To accept a, uh, an invi uh, invitation uh, or offer. To decline, okay, to make a request, to give a precise information, okay. These are the examples, huh? You can use, okay, quite many, yeah. Okay, to describe an event, to provide advice, to provide a suggestion, to provide a reason, to provide an opinion, to provide justification, a lot of to conclude a letter or an email huh? okay so to conclude a letter or email or th that is what uh, i said just now you can just say uh, bye for now that's all for now I'll see you soon mm? take care write soon okay very simple very simple huh? you can score this part this task one okay to sign off uh, okay so to sign off by your friend best wishes or you can just write your name no problem i think okay okay this is your letter what's the time now okay never mind i go fast okay so uh, this excuse is me yeah excuse me there's a student asked is it necessary to use at the end the word at the end at the end for uh for the con uh to conclude the essay eh, to conclude the email no 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 Sorry. need i think no need no it is no not uh, uh <laughs> is, it, is it necessary to use exc exclamation mark at the end at the end of bye uh, ah. by exclamation mark never is mind. it necessary Just, to use exclamation no. mark oh no. <laughs> Just <laughs> I think I think uh it's depends on the is, depends question. on the sentence, uh, depends on the sentence. Like uh the example there, right soon. So yes, uh, right soon right. uh, for example, bye for here, now, you can see uh, uh, bye for now, so no need to use uh exclamation mark after uh, bar. Okay, so, now I can understand that the this girl's question. Oh uh, yeah, depend yeah. on your sentence, <laughs> depend on your phrase, that's all okay no problem mm -hmm. all these are very uh, what is that uh, a simple matter <laughs> don't worry okay all right the most important thing is your expand uh, expand uh, your your elaboration on your notes that's the most important thing dear students don't worry about small things huh? don't worry okay all right okay so okay this is a letter and you can see here again we have I don't think I will explain everything, but I, I, I will just explain uh, a few. Huh? 
Okay, all right. Again, you can see here, I chose here describe because I want to differentiate. Huh? Just now we had uh, the first question for the email. Uh, they ask you to give or describe two activities, right? So you have to give two. But here again, you have to describe the event. Do tell me the highlights of the event. So meaning that you still can write two, more than one. The highlights of the event. You can highlight more than one. No problem. Why? That is that is why. Do tell me the highlights of the event. Maybe you can still write more than one. Because you have to describe only, right? They didn't say uh, two or three, isn't it? So describe one or you also can write two. If not, you don't have, you, you won't get the hundred <laughs> words. And you see here, do tell me the highlights of the event so i think you can use more than one yeah. activity nice. that's the main thing i i see this here and if you give one i don't think you can elaborate well and you can get or you the, the examiner can put you in a high pen i don't think so so it is better if it is uh, described and you look at the question uh, highlights of the event okay you can give more than one okay all right uh how was it enjoyable and the third note is yes because again once again uh, were you there when it happened and again uh, the last one is tell Adila. okay all right so again i did this for you but i don't think i will explain everything it is already 5 46 huh? but it's okay uh the first paragraph you can see enjoyable and this is the explanation you can see describe how you found the sports day and here wh question i use only uh, one very simple not necessary you have to write a lot isn't it as long as you answer the question uh, you answer the notes okay and the keyword feel a bit disappointed as i could not join you for the sports day okay uh, but it was not the same without you so i feel that we can relate it with this okay we we already answer it okay okay second paragraph do tell me the highlights on the event okay uh, describe explain the highlights and give to okay for your information there were many highlights on that day uh, because the keyword there i saw red house won isn't it so you have to you know you have to read it as well uh but the one that I could not forget would be when Ali won the 100 meter run. So that is the first highlight, I think. And another one would be our house, which won here. The, uh, uh, so you have to, you know, you have to link. We got to do our signature clap and share, and that was an unforgettable moment. Okay, right. This is the explanation. Okay, uh, for paragraph three, were you there when it happened? What? What happened actually? The keyword was uh, just now a student uh, from greenhouse broke his leg. The keyword, isn't it? So you have to uh, relate as well. Okay, were you there when it happened? What happened? What what happened actually before that? Uh, the keyword in the phrase in the uh, in the question in the essay was a student from greenhouse uh, uh, broke his leg. So you have to answer for this. So the notes here is yes because so we have to explain you have to say yes and give the explanation and why okay yes because that boy was in a race it was a close fight i was there and everybody saw it actually okay very simple okay it's a letter right all right so paragraph four would you tell me all the juicy details if there are any so you have to tell city juicy details if there are any so you can give more than one as well state the related happy events that happen in the school because she uh, actually uh that's a question uh actually city your former classmate had moved to lanka issue so she wanted to know more about uh the events happened in your school right am i right uh, so uh, of course i would of course i would and um, because juicy details huh, you can because you need 100 words as well so you, and you also have to look at the question and you have to look at the uh, the, the, the stimulus the question the stimulus huh, juicy details so you can write 
uh, mo. I, I think two enough should be okay. Uh, and you elaborate with the WH questions. Okay. So we had graduation day recently. The what happened actually uh, during that uh, graduation day? The excellent students were awarded during the event. Okay. The next. Uh, event was then 16th way was the day when we celebrated our teachers power a group song from what happened during that uh, event uh, a group song from us to our teacher uh, a fantastic gesture that might leave them with teary eyes uh, these are the sentence structure uh, sentence actually that you can use when you explain Okay, because they just say tell city and the question here is would you tell me all the juicy details? So you must have the happy events, you know, uh, happy events. And the keyword here is more events held at the school. Uh, more events uh, held at the school. That is why I asked you to give two. Okay, at least two. All right. Uh, oh, this is the last paragraph. <laughs> paragraph four, so fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, examples of notes. Usually, uh, these are the examples of notes that I could see. Uh, firstly, uh, describe. You, you noticed just now in our email and uh, letter writing. So if you get this type of notes, you try to explain and give examples. And just uh, explain by using uh, WH question. Uh, but explain the notes. Uh, describe. Describe and look at the subject. Uh, look at the subject and the keyword so that you you can uh, follow exactly or follow or answer exactly what they asked okay and greet oh sorry great support your answer so this is considered like uh like just now we had fun is it fun and enjoyable right okay so here you have to support your answer you once again use your wh question okay another uh example okay tell they like to ask this huh? tell city tell army tell ravi huh? so here you have to explain you explain based on the given stimulus huh? based on the given stimulus and give two suggestions uh, two very important don't give three for this question please don't give three huh? answer the question must give two suggestion only then explain. Okay, no, because must say no. Don't simply say I oh, I want to say yes lah. Uh, then you won't get the mark. Okay, must follow the notes. Give your justification. Ah, uh, give your explanation by using a uh, uh, WH question. Okay, good because uh, must say good. Huh? Then why? Uh, yes, because. Okay, so you must say yes and give your justification. Use your WH questions okay very simple okay any questions so far any question no yeah. question no question so for this question uh, basically we will focus on your response okay whether it is very well or in detail okay did you uh, explain uh, in detail or respond is very effectively given or linked to your other idea that is why i ask you to link with your keywords okay link with your keywords and also explain by using a wh question based on the notes given okay uh, and definitely they will also will see your uh, ideas and also fluency okay ideal uh, whether connected or not connected well or not okay uh, whether you use appropriate uh, uh, use uh, linkers appropriately or not okay and the planning the unity the uh, the email style uh, the email style or the uh, style of letter writing okay the unity the planning is very important okay and language yeah as usual if you use uh, if you want to get or if you want the examiner put you in high band definitely you must use a uh, very vocab excellent vocab very variety of sentences as i told you before compound and complex okay and accurate language apart from one or two slips lah if you want to get high band okay all right all these are very important mm, 
Okay, so I think I have given everything. So far, no question, right? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, no question. So, all right. So, that's all from me, actually. And our next presenter for next week, uh, Madam Blue, Teacher Aisha. Okay, Teacher Aisha. <laughs> next uh, Tuesday, okay, at 5 p.m. And yeah, if there is no question, I can just stop here, I think. No question, right? So I can just stop here. And thank you for listening to me. And if you have any question, uh, please just write here or you can, you know, uh, you can message in our white group. Okay. All right. Okay. That's all. Bye. So fast. Yeah. Five more minutes. <laughs> So early, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Five more minutes, right? So, yeah, five any, more minutes. Any, you want any? Uh, you want me to give anyone them wanted to come to Conti and uh, ah. talk to us? Yeah, yeah. I can give them a question. They can answer if you, if they want a gift from me. Okay, if you want a gift from uh, Madam Bina, yeah. you can yeah. come to Conti. Okay, uh, may, <laughs> may I know the link to come to the oh, Conti? Oh, I just link? asked, okay, I want to ask you, okay, there are three steps, right? Okay, just mention one step. Okay, who is the first person? The first person will get the gift. Okay, so <laughs> you are to mention, uh, all together there are three steps. You have to mention one of the steps and what is the content about it. How are you going to do it? No, only one. The first, uh, there are three steps, isn't it? So yeah. just, mention, uh, just mention, mention the steps. Okay. Oh, so easy, mention the steps. Yes, no need to explain. Don't explain, okay. pity them. <laughs> I want to ask okay. Ah, Haras, understand the task. Okay. All yes, right. Haras. La. Haras. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah. I, uh, okay, never mind. I, 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 oh, understand the task. Understand. Okay, no. Aras is the first person. Okay, what more uh, question? Okay, okay awesome. um, <laughs> uh, what is the third step? What is the third step? The answer, answer, answer. Oh, you, Wendy, write your yeah. response. <laughs> what did you know? Wadina mentioned second step. Plan second your step. response. Oh. So Ying Ying Windy, yeah. Okay, Hara said Ying Windy. Okay. Next. Okay. What to ask, huh? Uh, 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 okay, there are okay. I showed you a few expressions, isn't it? Okay, mention mention one. It's okay. Mention one. <laughs> Expressions. Uh. Come on. Very Expressions. simple. Yes. Very simple. Mention one. The title. Expressions. The title. Someone say thank you, teacher. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> it's not the expressions. Okay, also, it's not the expression. Recall, recall. The title, the the title, okay, yeah. What is the main title for thank you? Ah, the picnic. Oh my god, the picnic is the title just now. <laughs> Expression. Expression. The free credit. 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 Write your response. Write your response. Come around, we have two links. To express agreement, uh, programmer huh. X say to, ah, to express agreement. agreement. Programmer X. Okay, programmer uh -huh. X. Huh? <laughs> programmer X, who's that? Huh? I don't know. It's okay. Yeah. Never mind. Please, programmer X, please contact me. <laughs> Ying <laughs> Windy. <laughs> Ying Windy. And Haras, huh? Haras, Ingwindi, and program X, please. My student, okay. Yeah. Okay, please uh, contact me, yeah, to get the gifts from me. Okay, thank you for now. Um, uh, Madam Shah, you can take over. Uh, 
All right, so we have already shared the link for the eDidate sigil. All right, please fill in uh, the link. Only use the eDidate account. Okay, so, all right, with God's grace, we have done with today's lesson on how to write an email. Remember, there are six points to be written on an email. And uh, you will see all those explanations given very detailed. If you wanted to score better pen, for follow the tips and tricks given by Madam Bina. And don't forget to subscribe her channel. I think that's all for today. And don't forget to follow another session next week. You shall listen to madam aisha blues uh lessons that's all thank you everybody see you next week bye bye bye, bye. semua sekolah ditutup hingga cuti akhir tahun 17 disember 2020 anda tak cukup bahan tak ada rujukan tak faham anda nak tuition tapi pkp Jangan risau kami di Akademi Youtuber dengan kerjasama Kelab Guru Malaysia dan EDD Malaysia mengadakan kelas tuition online. Semua peringkat ada, semuanya secara percuma. Video PDPC pun ada. Apa ditunggu lagi? Layari www.akademiyoutuber.com Dibawakan kepada anda.